Let us begin with our uh, gathering song, entrance song, uh, song number 302, Gather the People. is ready In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In this celebration of the Mass, let us include in our prayers the intentions offered for the soul of Edward and Michael Collins. And at the same time, we pray for um, Ross Trinidad, who is uh, in the hospital in critical condition, we pray for him. And uh, let us begin by asking for mercy and forgiveness for the sins that we have committed. Lord Jesus, you reconcile us with one another and with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, occupied the whole land and attacked Samaria, which he besieged for three years. In the ninth year of Hoshea, king of Israel, the king of Assyria took Samaria and deported the children of Israel to Assyria, settling them in Hala at the harbor, a river of Gozan, and the cities of the Medes. This came about because the children of God sinned against the Lord. Their God, who had brought them up from the land of Egypt, from under the domination of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and because they venerated other gods. They followed the rights of the nations whom the Lord had cleared out of the way of the children of Israel and the kings of Israel whom they set up. And though the Lord won Israel and Judah by every prophet and seer, give up your evil ways and keep my commandments and statutes in accordance with the entire law which I enjoin on your fathers and which I sent you by my servants, the prophets. 
They did not listen, but were as stiff-necked as their fathers, who had not believed in the Lord their God. They rejected the statues and the covenant which he had made with their fathers, and the warnings which he had given them till, in his great anger against Israel, the Lord put them away out of his sight. Only the tribe of Judah was left. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm response. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. O God, you have rejected us and broken our defenses. You have been angry. Rally us. Help us, Help us with your right, right hand, hand, O Lord, Lord and, and answer us. You have rocked the country and split it open. Repair in the cracks in it, for it is tottering. You have made your people feel hardships. You have given us stupefying wine. Help, Help us, us with your right hand, hand O Lord, and Lord, answer us. Have not you, O God, rejected us, so that you go not forth, O God, with our armies? Give us aid against the foe, for worthless is the help of men. Help us it's with your right, right hand, hand, O Lord, and Lord, answer us. And answer us. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so will you be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me remove the splinter from your eye, while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. The Gospel today is, I believe, one of the most famous <laughs> in the world today when people will say, do not judge. You are not supposed to judge me. All right? because that is in Scripture. Stop judging. Indeed, we are not to judge anyone because it is only God who sees the heart. It is only God who can see what is inside, inside the heart of the person and um, to make judgments, we might make mistakes because we don't see the entirety. While it is only Jesus, only God, who truly judges because he sees what is coming from in us, within us. However, we should also be careful that we should also practice critical discernment. What do we mean by critical discernment here? 
that we will not allow profanity to enter into the sacred, into the holy, that we will not simply accept falsehood. That requires critical discernment, not really judging, but also but looking at what is true and real. So the other day, sister was pointing out to me something from what she saw in YouTube. And so I asked her, is that reliable? Is that true? You know, it's not, not everything that we watch, that we see in the news, especially nowadays are true and real, we need to discern. We need critical discernment. So that is different from being judgmental, right? And again, we, we are to, or we, we try to avoid judgments toward other people because what we see are just external behavior, external actions, but not what is inside us. And so may we pray that just as the Lord is understanding and merciful, we too may practice that mercy and understanding towards one another. The, and also, by the way, we have to also distinguish because this came up in one of the, uh, my Bible studies and, uh, and they ask about, uh, does that mean that we just tolerate mistakes of others? Does that mean that we just, you know, we do not uh, correct others when they commit mistakes or do something really wrong? Um, of course, the basic principle that we follow is love the sinner and hate the sin. So that is what the Lord shows us also. The Lord wants us to hate the sin, hate the action, okay? Like stealing, corruption, um, prejudices. Those are wrong. But it doesn't mean that the person is totally evil. You cannot equate the action of the person with the person himself. So we have to be, you know, care, be careful to distinguish the person and the action. So we should not judge the person. And the action, we have to discern. And it's, if it's truly wrong, it's wrong, but we have to be more merciful and understanding toward the person. So the gospel today, I know many people use it as don't judge, don't judge, but again, we have to know that there is what we call critical discernment and separating the person from the action and also charity and mercy always towards other people. Let us now pray to God, our Father, who is full of mercy, who welcomes all of us and invites all of us into his family, into his kingdom, and so, with courage, we come to him with our prayers. We pray for the Catholic Church that she may be a light of hope to many people today, to the world today, especially during this time of crisis and pandemic. May God's love continue to shine 
and inspire hearts of people. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us also pray for leaders of governments that they may be looking after the good of all the people of the common good, that they may make decisions that will bring about justice, charity, and love, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those who are sick. We remember Ras Trinidad. We pray also for all those who are continually suffering and dying because of this pandemic. We pray that uh, the Lord may grant them consolation and strength and uh, healing. Let us pray to the Lord. We continue to pray for one another. Uh, especially for our loved ones, that more and more we may see how God works in our lives. That more and more through these uh, uh, events that are shaking us these days, these months, we may see that God is actually calling us to reform our lives and to pattern our lives according to His will. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all those who have died. We remember in a special way, Michael and Edward Collins, and those who have died in this, uh, in this pandemic. We pray that they may enjoy eternal rest with God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, we, we lift up our prayers to you. We include in all these prayers all our parishioners who have missed to receive the Eucharist for so long a time now. We pray that through your grace and through your love, they may all be sustained and nourished both physically and spiritually. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed our Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed our Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, 
dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming for our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace.
Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to pray the spiritual communion prayer receiving Jesus into your hearts, allowing Jesus to dwell in you. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I am the good shepherd, and I lay down my life for my sheep, says the Lord. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. So I would like to invite everyone to join us at 3 p.m. for our Divine Mercy Prayer and uh, the Novena to Saints Peter and Paul. So probably you missed us yesterday. There were some technical errors, but uh, we prayed. So we already prayed for you too in case you were not able to pray yesterday. But we will have the second day of our Novena this afternoon. Please continue joining us. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, let us continue to love and be merciful towards one another. Thanks be to God.
Bye.